Hey guys, it's Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button because I talk about property investment, personal development, and how to gain financial freedom. In this video, I'm going to share with you six best strategy behind owning a rental property for every bill in your life. You see the strategy behind owning a rental property for every bill you incur in your life is an intrigue concept that involves leveraging investment properties to cover your living expenses, your lifestyle, and to get you to ultimate financial freedom. So it's very important for you to understand why lots of people invest in property. In order for you to be successful, it's important for you to create a business or an arm that will bring you passive recurring income that pays for your bills and for your lifestyle. So in this video, I'm going to show you the six strategies why owning a home to pay for your bills in your entire lifetime is vitally important for you to achieve that. Let's get to it. Number one, income ge generating properties. The core idea here is to invest in a property that generates rental income with each property specifically targeting a specific bill you pay. I'll give you an example. Let's say you wanna buy a car. So what lots of successful people do, before they buy that car, they will buy an asset like property that will generate them income in order to be able to buy that car. And what they do, they don't go and buy that car outright they go and lease that car and then get the property the rental income they're making from this property to pay for that car so in essence they've got that car for free because they created an asset that makes passive recurring income that looks after that car if you're able to implement that little scale it will transform your life here's the thing most people do the opposite literally the opposite they buy a car without even thinking about how they're going to look after that car so they buy it and then that car becomes a liability to them it becomes pressure it becomes problems it becomes they started working for the car or for the house for example so what you want to be doing basically is to buy an asset that will give you recurring income to look after that specific expense now next suppose you like to go on holiday maybe twice or three times a year the same thing applies buy a property that will generate you income that you can put together so use to go on holiday whatever you want to buy as long as that thing is not bringing you income you want to find an asset or a business that will bring you recurring income that will pay for that lifestyle or for that expense is that making sense next now you know it's dealing with different sort of expenses for you the second thing you want to do is diversification within the real estate industry it could be looking into residential investment i.e like buying houses you want to maybe look for family homes you want to start looking for a hmo property house in multiple occupation where you can rent the property room by room basis maybe you want to buy a building convert it into in to different unit perhaps you want to look at commercial investment where you could actually um, rent these properties to companies like Tesco Sainsbury's Morrison or perhaps you want to rent it to sole traders to do a corner shop or perhaps you want to look into vacational rental properties so instead of renting the property room by room basis or renting it to a normal um, tenant maybe you want to start by doing them as Airbnb properties where you can rent the people will be paying you for staying there on a nightly basis so there's so many ways you can diversify within the real estate industry itself that will give you better return on your investment. The third strategy of owning a rental property is what we call leverage, equity, and cash flow. You see, once you have a property and that property is doing really, really well, you can leverage it, right? How do you leverage it? What you wanna do first is to make sure the property is making you serious return on your investment by having you greater cash flow. It's making you profit, in other words. It's making you lots of profit. So what you can do, whilst, you, whilst you're holding that property, you'll be acquiring equity as well because when the property prices are going up, the value of the property would be going up as well so what you can do then that then allows you to use the leverage of that property to go again and buy another property so if the property goes up by 5 10 15 percent you can pull some of that equity out use that money plus the rental income you would have received if you're a clever investor you will not use all that in expenses you add on top of that you can go again buy multiple of these properties and then it becomes a snowball effect and it start giving you bigger and bigger return on your investment that will look after all your expenses and plus more number four strategic location and tenant se selection you see once you've bought your properties especially you know they are looking after your lifestyle and your expenses this time around you want to be looking at great locations locations where you can rent your property all day long it doesn't sit idle 
right? And most importantly, to select the people that are living in your property. I've got a word that I normally tell my investors, I'd rather have my property vacant than having the wrong tenant in it okay make sure you go through all the referencing processes to ensure you've got the right tenant for your property that will pay you every single month to be able to maintain your lifestyle and your expenses number five have a long-term financial plan don't just buy a property just to pay for your bills maybe you want to go a little bit beyond that by maybe trying to think about your family your kids maybe your church your mosque your synagogue your charity stuff like that that, that will motivate you a lot more in order to go out there and acquire more of these properties that will give you better and more return on investment that will outlive you for when you're gone and you'll be able to use that also to create charities the established charities giving back to your communities and maybe your, your church box and synagogue, that would also help you. The only way that would work if you're thinking long-term and what you visualize to achieve and you work towards achieving that. Number six, risk management. Because you know these properties are looking after your lifestyle, you need to manage the risk, ensuring that these properties are renting all the time. Any repair and maintenance comes up, fix it. Anything that happened to your property, make sure you are aware about it. Don't let it go. Don't forget about it, pretend it never happens. Don't do that. If you do that, maybe it'll become a little bit of a of a problem for you but manage the risk ensure wherever there's a risk you literally tackle the risk overcome it to make sure that risk becomes a massive potential benefit for you these are the six strategies behind owning a rental properties that pays for your bills and your lifestyle i really hope this video has been helpful if this video has been helpful smash the like button below subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos i look forward to sharing the next video